hello and welcome back guys today in this video we are going to see the add column and select column in power bi and this is the data set we have product name product type price each and quantity ordered let's see how this will work and we have the data set and this data set table name is product so let me first create a new column using the new column and we will be creating a separate column apart from this table so these are the attributes that is present over here and we will be creating another new column beside this quantity order and this will be shown over here uh, apart from all these four type of name so let me click on new table and i'll write it as let me change delete this name table name and i'll write it as add column and i'll be writing as add column function and table i'll be choosing as product so i'll be typing it as product so i'll click on it i'll put comma and which name we want to keep so let's say i'll write the column name and that should be inside the inverted comma and i'll give the column name as product prod underscore name underscore type i'll close this i'll put comma and expression what is the expression so for the expression i want to get the product name along with the type so i'll write the uh, product name and i'll choose it I'll concatenate this along with the product type and for that I'll put ampersand sign and I want to write this symbol and I'll put before and after space I'll close this inverted comma I'll put ampersand sign again and right now I'll choose product type and I'll close this bracket for add columns and hit enter so as you can see that there is a separate column it has been added apart from that the previously added four columns so this entire column has product name along with the product type and there is a symbol of arrow sign so that is uh, that is about the add column so let me create another new table and in this case i'll be using select column and this table name will be select column and i'll write the function as select column I'll choose this and in this case also table I'll be using product table as we have taken for the last time I'll click on it put comma name let me give a different name right now again I'll put I'll be putting inside inverted comma name plus type I'll put comma expression I am going to take the same expression but in this case I'll take it in different way so I'll take first product name so I'll choose a product name and again I'll be using the ampersand sign and in this time I'll take underscore and that should be inside the uh, double quotation mark let me take two times I'll put another ampersand and this time product type I'll choose this I'll close the close the bracket and as you can see there's a different separate column or table it has been created along with the product name and type uh, what I have given over here so as you can see that entire table it has come but with a different name and that is combined with name and product so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then take care bye bye and I'll see you with another new exciting video thank you bye bye